Thursday, Thursday, Thursday in the afternoon. Thursday, I don't care about you. We'll come again next Thursday afternoon. Thursday, Thursday doesn't even start. Thursday, Thursday night. Thursday. Make plans for Thursday night. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. The Johnny Cash website, johnnycash.com, has been totally redone and now includes a comprehensive and impressive look at his career through albums, songs, videos, movies, books, and more. That's johnnycash.com. This portion of summer brought to you by Brain Freeze. You ate your ice cream too fast. You mainlined that chocolate shake. You sucked that Slurpee through the straw. And now, you've changed the temperature in the back of your throat at the juncture of your carotid artery, which feeds blood to the anterior cerebral artery, causing dilation and contraction of both arteries. The medical term is phenopalatin ganglial neuralgia. You know it better as... Brain Freeze. The cure? Stop shoveling cold stuff in your yap. Brain freeze, because you know better, but just can't stop yourself. Trump appeared at a youth rally and stood in front of an altered presidential seal saying, 45 is a puppet. That's just because douchebag is too hard to spell. Trump said Boris Johnson will be a great prime minister of the United Kingdom. Trump also added, and who knows, he could even go on to become prime minister of England and Great Britain. Meanwhile, the Queen told Boris Johnson, I don't know why anyone would want the job. Of course, she was referring to the job of styling his hair. The El Paso Border Patrol chief for DHS has been transferred to Detroit. I'm guessing that's not a promotion. Maybe it's just me, but I'm starting to think this R. Kelly guy might be a total jerk. Question, does it hurt less if you call the creature that just sent you spinning and flying in the air like a rag doll a bison instead of a buffalo? A U.S. college student was arrested trying to smuggle nearly $1 million through San Antonio Airport. Wow, that's a lot of money to try and cram up your anus. New report finds that there was an error in the dating of the mysterious and controversial Shroud of Turin. The linen burial cloth does not date to the Middle Ages, as skeptics had claimed. It actually dates from a 1985 end-of-the-year sale at Bed Bath & Beyond. Time for Nobody Gives a f- DoorDash, the food delivery company, is changing its policy after a public uproar. Its drivers now get to keep 100% of their tips and some of their dignity. Hey, DoorDash assholes, nobody gives a f- A rare pair of unused 1972 Nike sneakers set a new auction record at $437,000. If you think that's a lot, just remember that includes a free pair of socks. Hey, Nike, nobody gives a f***. And an American Airlines flight attendant was bitten on the hand by a dog during a flight. Wow, usually it's the human passenger bites that you have to be careful about. Hey, shitty airlines, nobody gives a f***. Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of the Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out NSS Live starring Frank D'Angelo, Tuesdays and Thursdays for NSS Live. 